Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super secret test location in the southwest of England. So today, what I'm going to talk to you about is monster grips. Now, grip is an absolutely essential part of the makeup of your pig. It is why certain companies like Dunlop have little stipples on the flow series, it's why VPIX have holes in their picks, it's why companies like Ricky Lepletri does engraving on his, and all of these things are designed to help us bond, physically bond, with the Pletrum in question. Not every pick material works for every person. If you have a certain skin type, you might have difficulty holding on to certain things. Now, I have done this test a lot. I've tested all sorts of materials, which I have listed here, and some of those materials don't bond with my skin properly. Now that is not the fault of the pick, that is just genetics. Can't do anything about that. Or maybe I can. So you're thinking, well why not just use the picks that work for you? That's a very fair point. However, there's a lot of picks that have tonal properties that I really enjoy, but I can't really hold on to properly. So in order to rectify that, Monster Grips exists. Now, I bought my Monster Grips through Chicken Picks uh, because I've always loved Chicken Picks, but I have a really, really hard time holding on to them for whatever reason. And so they were my first candidate for test. However, I have also, as I reach into my back pocket like some sort of magician guy, I have also affixed them to, here's the Chicken Picks I was testing it with. This is a uh, 2.7 Bermuda 3. And this is a Howling Monkey Primate. Now, these two picks are categorical examples of the reason why I think Monster Picks is a good thing. Now, when I wrote my original article about them, which you can read in the description below, I did reveal that I found the feeling a bit weird and that I found them a little bit invasive and all the rest of it. However, I have spoken to the gentleman who makes them. He's a very, very nice bloke and I'm doing an interview with him in due course. I'm very much looking forward to sharing it with you because Monster Grip story is a fascinating one. However, he advised me that, as is the case with these things, I'm used to gripping my picks pretty hard, and that comes from the fact that I grew up playing really thin picks, like Dunlop 60 and the point seven one. Now that I'm using big heavy picks, I don't need to do that as much, and the more I use stone picks, the more I realise that that's the case. However, these two are the best examples that I can manifest out of my vast, sorry, out of my vast collection, uh, where I absolutely love the sound of these picks, but I cannot hold on to them for love nor money. So, I put these little discs on, and what they do is Tagawa, for example, which is what the Howling Monkey Primate is made from. Tagawa is terrible for not really giving me any grip until my hands get a little bit damp. Now, I tested this by looking at my fingers like that, and then if you just touch the side of that, I could feel it getting grippier immediately. However, that's I've had a couple of situations recently where I, I played a house band at a weekly jam, and when the room, at this time of year especially, when the room's not the warmest, and bear in mind we are in the south of England, so it's not like, you know, Af Africa down here. When it's colder, I have I have the thing just sliding around in my hands all the time. These stop that. So you're not, you don't have to grip it all that hard. And this is one of the weird things, is that having affixed them to the plectrum, I was still gripping the same way and I was really conscious of it and I was thinking, is it working, is it working, is it working? But after spending a week with them, playing them every single day and attaching them to different picks as well, so I put them on Howling Monkey Jazz and I put them on an Iron Age Parthenon and all that sort of thing. The one thing that I noticed was the, the grip feels more relaxing. Like I don't have to play all that hard and it's, it's a weird thing because the temptation is always when we're when we're getting stuck into a song that you really knuckle down and you and I'm just as guilty of that as anyone has ever been. But what I shall say is that apart from the fact that they make no tonal difference whatsoever, because being a, being a pick aficionado, I was worried that they might disturb 
the movement of the plectrum because it's the vibration of the two things joining together that makes the sound. Yes, it is. They just make a massive difference. The thing that is a bit strange is that you have to figure out where is best on the pick for you. Now, that is quite an eye-opening thing because you think, oh, I'll hold the pick this way because I've always held it that way. But see, when you're affixing these little grips on, you start to really assess where it is you put your hand and it, it, it made, where you put your fingers rather. And it really made me look at my, um, it made me look at, at how I was using my picks differently. It made me understand the actual grip more, how much I'm choking down on them, for example. So these are pretty cheap um, for what they are. They have been designed, and this is a really, really clever thing, they've been designed so that when you want to take them off and use them again, if you take them off and put a little bit of water on them and just wash them a bit, then the stickiness goes back on. I don't understand that. But I suppose I don't have to, I just have to use the thing. I know how, I love using pedals, I don't know how they work. Um, but they're incredibly durable, uh, even though they get stuck in my pocket all the time with a whole load of fluff, uh, they don't, the fluff doesn't get in. And this is, I'll, I'll try and put a close up of this in the picture because this one, this is one of my favorite picks and I've been carrying it around quite a bit. And the fluff goes around the edge, but not underneath. And the reason why that is important to note is because the primate is engraved on the front. So if the fluff's gonna get in on any pick, it's gonna get in on this. So it's, it's less of a test this and more just of telling you about them because I can't really, I can't share the grip with you through sound. I mean, that's just not something I can do. But what I will tell you is that these little things opened up uh, a, a lot more of my collection to me that physically I struggled to get on with a little bit, even though I loved the sound. And that's a very important thing. Plus, if you have, as some people have, if you have very, very wet hands or you have very dry hands, then these will work for you either way. And that's the first thing I've come across in in the pick sort of community that does that. Um, some people I know have very dry hands, some people that get really, really clammy hands and they have to keep changing materials to see what works for them. All of those friends of mine who have those different skin types have tested these thumbs up. So I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, review of Monster Grips. And if you do want to find out any more information, I have put a link in the description below. In the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping, and I shall see you soon. Don't forget, if you don't know what to do, rep hard, rep heavy.